Welcome to Entomological Etymology. I'm Taylor Hart, and today I'm talking about bees. Bee is a Germanic word tracing to Old English bayo. Does that strangely remind you of high school English class? If it does, it's probably because it's part of the name Beowulf. Beowulf might have literally meant bee wolf. In other words, a hunter of honey or a bear. Going even further back in time, you get Proto-Germanic beon, and then Proto-Indo-European be. Like their cousins, the ants, bees are taxonomically placed in the insect order Hymenoptera. That one sounds pretty weird, so let's break it down. Hymen is a Greek root meaning membrane. That root shows up again in English to refer to a part of the female anatomy. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. The second root in Hymenoptera Patera is Greek for wing, and this root shows up in a lot of other English words like pteranodon, meaning toothless wing, and helicopter, meaning spinning wing. So the Hymenoptera are the membranous winged insects, according to Carl Linnaeus, who named them. Although, honestly, I'm not sure why he used that description for these insects specifically, since lots of insects have membranous wings, but most of them are put into other orders. In the West, the European honeybee is the most famous bee species, and it has the scientific name Apis mellifera. Apis is just the Latin word for bee, and also gives us the word apiary, which is a place that beekeepers keep bees. Properly, Hymenoptera includes not just the ants and the bees, but also the wasps and related insects called sawflies. So bees, like ants, are actually intermingled with wasps in an evolutionary sense. They have a common ancestor. Bees are part of a subgroup called the apoidea, which comes from the word apis. So just like the word humanoid means something that's human-shaped, apoidea includes bees along with some of their close relatives that look similar. The true bees are then a slightly more specific subgroup called the anthophila, the flower lovers. That's antho, like a flower's anther, and phila, like philanthropy, which is literally love of humanity. And it's a pretty fitting name since loving flowers and eating pollen specifically is kind of the bee's whole deal. If you like honey, you probably have Apis mellifera to thank. These bees have been semi-domesticated over thousands of years. We give them housing in the form of artificial nests, and they make tons of extra honey that beekeepers collect. It's kind of, it's kind of a deal that works for both sides. Plus, these bees pollinate lots of our crops. We've covered apis, which just means bee, but what's mellifera? This one also has Greek roots, and it's comprised of meli, for honey, and phera, which means to bear, like in fairy. So apis mellifera is the honey-bearing bee. Honeybees get all the credit because of their close relationship with humans, but there are actually around 20,000 named bee species. Don't forget about the humble bumblebee. These guys actually used to be called humblebees, before humble drifted to bumble. And regardless, both names come from the humming or buzzing sound that these bees make when they fly. And the scientific name for the bumblebee genus, Bombus, actually has a similar origin. Unlike the European honeybee, several bumblebee species are actually native to North America, and they're important too, especially for pollinating native crops. So be nice to the bees, and all the bees, not just the honeybees, and they probably won't sting you.